Southwest Virginia dominating the soccer pitch this season. Seven area high school teams looking for titles today. We'll begin in class four. It's Jefferson Force versus Western Albemarle in a rematch of the region final. 19th minute of play, corner kick, Walker Stebbing staying ahead of the game, literally with the header. It's 1-0 Cavaliers the lead. Warriors going to tie it up in the 36th minute of this game. Jamie Williamson had a header as well. 1-1 game. It was a 2-2 game that had four overtimes before Western Albemarle won after six rounds of PKs for the state championship. Boys Class 2 state finals, Glenver and Clark County from Salem High School. The Highlanders strike first. Colin Clapper, the corner. Maddox Fisher, the header. 1-0 Highlanders with the early statement goal. The Eagles of Clark County would respond. Christopher LeBlanc finds Callaway Beckett in the middle. And his shot right there was a howitzer that finds the net. This is a good old-fashioned battle. Goes 3-2 to Clark County. Glenver finishes with state silver. Perennial power Galax boys disappointed a year ago, not today. Class 1 finals versus Northampton. Daniel Rea feeding Alberto Vera on the fly. He is off to the races, goes left foot for the flying finish and the goal. Galax wins the Class 1 state soccer title 2 to nothing. your final. Plenty of reasons for that maroon tied bunch to celebrate. Coach says the expectations for the program raise the level of preparation. Because of that, there's this extreme pressure. But I think that pressure kind of molds our team and our players into better players, kind of like diamonds. We've got all that pressure, and it distills itself as we get towards the postseason. And here we are. All right, congrats to them. To the girls now, Hidden Valley's improbable run has been opportunistic to say the least. We're back at Cortland High School for the Class 3 Girls State Championship in soccer. They're taking on Lafayette. Titans tried to find their footing second half. This is Taylor Walker, settles it, controls it, and scores. 3 nothing Rams later. We'll see this ball blocked away, but the second chance shot from Emma Moyer connects. The Titans couldn't beat that pesky Rams defense. Lafayette wins it 5-0. Titans bringing home state silver as the runner-up in what was a special season for Hidden Valley. Girls class two finals, Glenver and Picosin for the girls soccer gold. This is Juliana Stanley applying the pressure to Picosin, who played a tough and physical match with Allegheny in the semis that went overtime. Farron Wilson, the free kick on goal coming up as well. Now, Ryan Harris had a goal. Jordan Crouch got the game winner late second half. Glenver wins their school's first ever soccer title in come from behind fashion. 2-1 over Picosin, your final. The Class 1 defending state champs, the Eastmont girls in the house to battle rival Auburn for the state championship. Free kick off a penalty. Lily Underwood dropping that one over the wall, and it did just cross the line before it was secured by the goalie. 1-0 Eastmont right there. Later, nice feed to Asia Dahone on the fly. Settles it, shoots, and scores. 2-0 Mustangs in command. It was a 5-0 win as Eastmont goes back-to-back, -back, something their coach says they've used as motivation. We knew we were going to be a target. We knew um, what it felt like to come back to a state tournament, and we wanted that same exact feeling. So um, they just had to work twice as hard, get it done, and, and they did. So we were, we were proud of them. I'm proud of them. <laughs> Indeed, and so are we. Back to the Jubilee and Diamond action. We're talking softball, Class 3 final, Lord Botetot, one final hurdle, the New Kent Trojans. So let's get you back out. We are in Spotsylvania again. Trojans leading 2-0, looking for more in the third. But Ryan Jones, back-to-back -back strikeouts to get out of a jam. She did that in the third and fourth. LB looking to produce a run. Hadley Evans still second. She's going to third, but she is caught there. They were trying to produce any kind of offense. Cavs bats quiet. Bottom of the sixth, runner on base, New Kent. Abby Kegley 
right there finds the gap and McKenna Mueller rounds the bases and scores. Lord Botetot could not generate any offense. Cavs fall three to nothing to New Kent and return home with state silver in class three softball. Appomattox versus Page County in the class two state title matchup. Page County won on a walk off against Dan River yesterday. UVA commit Courtney Lane striking out the Panthers left and right, keeping them off pace. Scoreless bottom of the seventh. Emily Purcell singling to center to get the Raiders on a bag. And then Kelsey Burkett with a huge hit to left field. The Raiders are going to win in walk-off fashion. Appomattox goes back-to-back -back in the Class 2 State Softball Championships under their head coach, Janet, Janet Rouse. Lane pitching back-to-back -back perfect games. Taking it pitch by pitch, um, I trust my defense with all my heart, and I knew we were going to push a run out eventually, even if it took to the bottom of the seventh inning, but just getting quick outs for my team and making it as easy as possible for them to score some runs and not being stressed out. When it came off the bat, I knew I'm going all the way. Like, I'm not stopping. They're going to have to, like, full body plow me to stop me. But right when I saw M cross the plate, I kind of, like, stopped, and I was like, it's over. Like, we just won this. and. Ran to the circle with my team because without them, none of this was possible. It was crazy. All right, congrats to them and congrats to Auburn. The state class one softball title in convincing fashion this afternoon. Over to baseball now. Appomattox, no stranger to state titles. They're a perennial sports power, but they've never won in baseball until today. The Raiders pitcher Dylan Caruso throwing a complete game. Apo backs him up with four runs in the first two innings, and it holds up for a 4-2 win over John Battle. The Raiders finish 23-1 for their first baseball title. Spot Sylvania County High was LCA battling Abingdon in the Class 3 baseball title. Bulldogs down 3-1 Bottom of the sixth when they get two men aboard. Lane Duff single to right field, followed by a blooper to shallow right by Jackson Downey. So we have runners at the corners. Then it's Matthew Vine who's going to come up, and he wants those RBIs right there. Ripping the ball to the left field fence. Playing both runners to tie the game at three. The Bulldogs went on to win on a two-run walk-off single in the seventh by Lane Duff. 6-5, Liberty Christian Academy is your class three baseball champs.